Take your eggs or hold you ducks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is really. I know. It is really, really hot right now. It has been hot for the last couple weeks, actually. Um, I don't know. It's dragonfly mating season. So I don't know what the temperature is right now, but the regular. It's been going between uh, 96 to 98 degrees during the day. And um, that's not bad, but the humidity is 80% plus. And so when you have those two factors come into play, the humidity, the high humidity makes it feel hotter than it actually is. So there's been days where it feels like it's as hot as 109 degrees. And uh, that's not fun. So it's been a really hectic last couple weeks. And I thought that this would be a great time. Things have cooled down, birthing season's over. So I thought this would be a great time to just go through and update you on all the different things that we have around that you guys have not been able to see updates on in the last couple weeks, including meeting Annabelle's baby. So as you had seen at the beginning, um, the baby goats are doing wonderful. Um, Mocha's, Mocha and her baby are doing great. They're healthy. Maple and her baby are doing great. They're good. I'll give you guys an update on Pepper later on whenever we get back to the house. But uh, the baby goats, they're getting to that stage where they're, they're playful. It's a little hot right now, so they're not as playful right now. But um, they're getting to that stage of just that cute, cute goat playfulness right now. I love it. Quack, 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 quack. Look at that baby. Look at that baby. <laughs> so he's definitely got the biggest buds. Like he's already got horns starting to come in. So we really, I guess, I guess we'll just let him keep his horns and we'll just disbud if we're gonna. I don't know. I'm on the fence as to whether or not I want to disbud the other two because we're, we're not still not sure yet who we're gonna keep exactly. Um, cause we do, we're thinking about keeping one of the boys to weather out and make as a companion for Saffron because he is going to start running separately. And we're seriously thinking about keeping Mocha's baby just because we bottle raised her for the, for the first few days and she's just extra sweet and cuddly and we just love her. So that's currently on the fence. Um, also, we've been doing a poll for the last week since they were born on collecting names for them. So I am going to leave a uh, link down below to go and vote on the names for the babies. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see them and introduce you to them one more time just so you can kind of be refreshed on your memory. The little brown one is snoozing right now. <laughs> Perfect time to introduce him. So this is Maple's first little buckling that was born. Hey, come here, I'm trying to introduce you. You saw him just a second ago. He's a, he looks just like Maple. He's a black and brown. And he just, oh, look at that. Oh, does that feel good? Is that nice? Are you just gonna fall asleep right here in my hand? Oh. But he is the eldest little buckling from Maple. And then we have Mocha's baby. She is a little doling. Hey, baby. Oh. <laughs> she says, hippie hop. Hi. Oh. <laughs> See, I told you guys they were starting to jump around. Hey, baby girl. Hey, did you bonk your head? 
So she is a gray, just like her mama. Hey, hi, what are you doing? Hey. Oh, 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 you're feeling real spunky right now, aren't you? But so this is this is Mocha's single little gray doling. Oh, she's just oh. <laughs> and then the last one, who is snoozing over here. You can't eat his ears. This is Maple's second buckling. Do you mind? <laughs> so this is Maple's second buckling and he is extra sweet. Uh, we were actually right off the bat considering keeping him. So that is the last one of the trio. So I will post their pictures with them for the voting so that you guys can uh, make your decisions. <laughs> you guys are just so cute. Are you going to try and jump on him too? What are you doing? You can't eat his ears. extra this morning. Are you going to have Saffron's attitude? He's happen? been so sweet. It's so funny that he's like suddenly aloof today. Aloof. Because we bottle fed him for a little bit. Too. Yeah, like there was a good 24 hours that we bottle fed him just to make sure he was getting nutrients. What are you doing, <laughs> 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 what are you doing down there? <laughs> You're such a sweet little, little baby. You're definitely growing quickly. It likes to eat my clothes. <laughs> hey, see? I can see yours. Are... Yeah, like his and his and Mocha's baby's close. buds are so much smaller than yeah, his. Yeah, these though. two they got pretty about the about the same horn growth. You guys want to get those scratches? What are you doing? What are you doing, baby? Oh, you're just loving to scratch. This one's really being really sweet. See, and that's why we haven't decided what, which ones we're going to keep because their personality is going to change. This one originally was very aloof, but now, I mean, just look at him. He's just like, I love to chin scratches, and I could just fall asleep right here and just be totally fine. Oh. I'm introducing him to him. You're going to introduce him? Yeah. Baby meeting baby. Yep. <laughs> it's baby mean baby. The, the little baby goats are already used to chickens though. Yeah. Alright, watch out buddy. Yeah, but she's getting meta, meta silky. <laughs> <laughs> my life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> it's not on. Yeah, but yeah, I almost fell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. You guys have been really wanting to meet Annabelle's baby, so we're gonna go ahead and take you guys over there to meet Annabelle's baby. Now, let me just forewarn you, he is a, uh, he's a bit of a brat. <laughs> we have not handled him as much as I would like to just because we've just been so busy the last few weeks. But, I mean, he's not like completely unhandled. We can sometimes go up to him and he's actually in a perfect place right now for us to go and pet him. Hi, Mama. Hi, Annabelle. He definitely loves the chin scratches. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> he is so cute. I love how they look like a little deer. You want to stand up for everybody? Come on. No? Is, no, I'm good here. No, you're good there. It's hot. I'm you're cooling down on the floor. <laughs> He's such a brat. <laughs> no, but he can't refuse the chin scratches. 
I love his little teeth. He's his little teeth poking out. I did my bees. So I wonder where he lost his fly mask. Flies have been absolutely atrocious the last um, week. And poor Annabelle, like there's been so bad that Annabelle has broken out in welts. And um, I'm actually having to make new uh, fly spray. I've got some temporary fly spray because unfortunately I can't use um, regular, like I can't use the spray, fly spray we use on the horses because we're going to be getting milk from her and you can't use that stuff on them. So I have to make her a special fly spray and they just kind of came in in a wave and I was just not prepared. But um, actually I'll show you guys that recipe if you would like. I'll show you guys that recipe. So I actually put fly masks on them so that that would help them with their faces. And um, I've already put uh, a treatment on Annabelle for her welts from the flies, and she's already improving vastly. But I had put fly masks on them, and I had a little fly mask that was meant for a miniature pony. And I put it on him, and it was working, but he got it off. So now we've got a missing fly mask. I tried to give you some relief, buddy. There's no telling where it is. It could be anywhere. I mean, look at this pasture. All that mowing that I did, and look at how tall the grass is. It's just so rich. And Annabelle's loving it. She doesn't really graze during the day. So Annabelle doesn't normally graze during the day just because it's so hot. She normally spends the day hanging out in the shade chewing the cud. It's in the early, early morning and the evening whenever it cools off that she will come out here and do her, do her grazing. But yeah, I don't even know where that, where that fly mask could be. It's already getting so hot. I think it's like 1030 in the morning which this is normally when the heat really starts to set in. Normally it starts to set in around 8, 30, 9 o'clock. But we got out here that time and we got the food set up. It's 4th of July weekend. It's actually a Friday right now and Davis is actually off work so we're actually getting to spend some time with him on a weekday which is not normal but wonderful. You see anything, babe? Ah. We'll find it. She'll mow this down eventually and it'll turn up. But she'll have plenty of time to mow this. She'll be able to be on this paddock for a while. We're still kind of doing the rotational grazing, but we're not doing it as aggressively where we can find them to smaller paddocks. Yeah, I, well, I, I was thinking of doing that here because I think we're only two or three weeks since she's had um, little calf. Well, I want to bring Axel in whenever it's close to time for Annabelle to get bred back. That's what I'm thinking. We'll bring them back in here. And they'll be in here just for that period, and then we'll set them up back in with, I'll uh, probably set them back up with Luke. Yeah, I don't even see it. No. <laughs> Down in the grass somewhere. No telling, little bratty brat. But um, so Annabelle had no issues calving. He was healthy as can be from day one. But um, he's uh, ah, he's doing her. Ah, we found it. Tiny little fly mask. <laughs> Gotta love the random cloud coverage that makes it like so dark. But, um, so I'm wondering why this lemon tree is, or is turning yellow like this. It's kind of concerning me, and I think it's because it's in the swale. Where it's, it's like right at the edge of the, where it's low. I'm wondering if that's why. Yeah, it's over water. I think that's heat. You think so? Because all the other trees are fine. It's this one. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, that's, but. that's. That's the sun right there. That's yeah. The first part of the tree that gets I'm the sun. thinking though, as soon as as soon as the two uh, as soon as Coyote and Chewy are gone, I'm thinking we should try and transplant these trees back there, and so that they're not in places where they're at danger for flooding. Uh, how long are you gonna keep it on this time? <laughs> You know? Here, I'll block him off on this side. There you go. Got 
time. Come here. Oh, you got it upside down, babe. I'm trying. <laughs> He's trying to get it over his nose. He's a wormy little. He is wormy. Here, I'll try and divert him into there. Oh, you're slinky. It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. Oh, oh. and under. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just leave it off of him. He's not as bad as Annabelle is. Yeah, we gotta get him back home. We'll get him back in. I'll go wide and cut him off. All right, Leon, you blockade this side. Don't let him come through. Don't let, don't let little calf come through. We want to herd him back to mama. There you go. Go on. Oh, no, wrong way. Go back to mama. Go back to your mama. Oh. Leanne, go wide. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Annabelle, are you enjoying your breakfast? Nom, 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 nom. Hi, baby girl. Can't see your beautiful face under that mask. But you probably have some relief. Yes. Such a good mama. On a side note, guys, if you notice what I'm wearing, this is our first uh, merch for our channel. It's Crazy Plant Lady, organic, our organic life. And um, I've been working hard on designing new t-shirts. Um, I'll share a link down below. Um, you can order them on Teespring right now, but we are in the process of uh, submitting them to Amazon merch. So they will be available as well on Amazon and you can have them primed. Like I said, I'll let you guys know whenever it's available on Amazon and I'll share a link to the Teespring below. So as you recall, at the end of April, we ordered uh, 25 Cornish Cross Meat Chicks, and um, we coined the name Chicken Nuggets for them. So you guys have seen a few updates where we moved them out to pasture, and uh, we of course got our garden goose, our Sebastopol um, goose gosling named Magnolia. Magnolia! <laughs> they are doing awesome. Look at how big they have gotten. Hi guys! So they are eight weeks old now. Normally this would be the time that people would harvest them, but we have been uh, running an experiment. They, they're moving around just fine. Yeah. They're, they're not overweight right now. Um, I just, I- So they're getting enough exercise to maintain their weight. And their legs are strong enough, so yeah. why not let them get a little bit extra weight? Yeah, we get, get a little bit more meat off of them. Normally, when people raise them, they keep them on free choice feed for 12 hours and off for 12 hours at a certain stage. But usually by eight weeks, they have grown so fast that their legs just cannot keep up with it, and they just can't handle it. There's, they die from heat strokes. And um, these guys are eight weeks. What we've been doing is we have been rationing their feed, and we literally fill um, their pans and let them eat that and um, then, but we have been giving them a 24% feed, which normally you cut them down on the 24, 20, on the protein percentage, but we've been keeping the protein percentage up high and just rationing their feed. So, but they have been doing exceptional. We're actually gonna weigh them today because we are aiming, um, from my understanding on the groups that I've read, you want a 10 pound live weight bird to get a good size chicken. After, after dressing. 
So we're gonna go ahead and weigh them and then we'll also show you guys Magnolia because she's gotten so big. Haven't you, Magnolia? Yes. All right. Magnolia. Oh, baby. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab the biggest one that we can find, then the uh, smallest one, and then an additional one, and we will average out their weight. And that'll give us an idea of roughly what weights we're looking at. All right, so. Shoot me, we got some chunkers in here. Chunkers. Pretty big. All right. Okay. So, oh, where'd the show go? Did you drop the hood? Yeah, I just put it back in. I see it. Wait, right next to my boot. Thank you. See, look at this. These, they're jumping up on the thing. That's how healthy and lively they are. All right. Okay. <laughs> They're feeling pretty good. Okay, let me go ahead and put this up on the scale. Mama. Alright, we got... Did she come in? got a minus two pounds for the bucket. The bucket really weighs two pounds? Alright, so we are at eight pounds minus two is six pounds. Wow, I didn't smoke out. He looks beefy for six pounds. Minus two is four pounds. Okay. All right. So, so maybe we'll up their feed more. We'll start feeding them oh, yeah. the things as well. Balls yeah. here in the bucket. And uh, see, I'm just like they're huge. Ow! <laughs> just trying to get them. <laughs> Food? Food? Get your legs in there. Thank you. We're looking at about five pound average right yeah. now. So, so let's, we're gonna up their feed. Yep, we're gonna up their feed. And we'll probably harvest in two weeks. She has been officially Girl. Hi, hey, pretty girl. Magnolia oh, will have. Hey, pretty girl. Mama, I've hey, always wanted blue eyes like Magnolia will have when she's fully grown. Hi. Here she is, Magnolia. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, gorgeous girl. She's so soft. Mm -hmm. And her nice, pretty feathers are coming yeah, in. See, look, I see all her fluffy feathers coming oh, in. Oh, she's shaking. Well, she's she a little spooked. Cold. We haven't been holding she her sees, much. She wants her food. She sees yeah. the food in there too. She hasn't. We haven't been holding her much. We've been letting her just. Run with her flock. Mama, That's such a good girl. But she's staying sweet house. enough that she's still allowing us to handle her mm -hmm. and pet her. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Here, baby, you go get you some food before they eat it all. <laughs> Fluffy goose. I love her feathers. Oh my gosh! And she still hasn't even come in fully to her feathers. They're still gonna. She's still gonna be fluffier. She's still technically an adolescent. Mm -hmm. I mean, shoot, what is she like? It's only a couple months. She was they? born. She was born April fifteenth because she was born on Caitlin's birthday. So she's April fifteenth, April, May, June. So she's almost three months old. Maybe we got. Yeah. Pretty girl. A while back, I think it's been about four months we ordered a new breeding flock for the pasture flock and they were splash americanas they're coming out they're coming out they're coming out we'll get but them out here i think they are finally big enough that we can move them in to the pet poultry net and you guys will get to see them i especially like that white one yes so we're going to go ahead and get them moved out to the pasture flock. Okay. I want to show him on camera. He is so pretty. There you go. There you go. Yeah, they should be 
Yeah. This is the king daddy for the pasture flock. Look at how gorgeous he is. Hi, pretty boy. Yes. He's actually surprisingly very calm. Yeah. For this being really the first, one of the only times he's ever been held. Yeah, they really have not been handled. Good boy, you're so pretty. Wings, so. Look at how cool their legs look. He's got the blue legs. And then there's... Well, we're gonna put them down. We there's got two of the hens. Go. go see your ladies. Pretties. Oh yeah, he is so gorgeous. Well, we're gonna have to turn this fence on. Yeah, but they're they're big enough now that they're not uh, able to slip through as easily. No, they're not gonna be able to slip through. Keep moving with them, buddy. Keep moving with them. There you go, guys. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. There you go. Them's pretty babies. There you go. See, you guys got all this room now. Isn't this so much better? So we're back at the house. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on Pepper and uh, just kind of talk about what we decided to do. Hi, baby. So Pepper's doing great um, so far. There's been no prolapse. I've been milking her out just so that she's getting some relief, but we decided to go ahead and just dry her up. Um, she seems to be in much better spirits. Um, she, pretty much the next day she was back to acting like her normal self. And um, so we we're just gonna work on drying her off and uh, the way that you do that is you uh, kind of it's not like you don't like not give them food but you kind of restrict their food because of course the food that they intake is gonna go towards milk production and so um, we're going to kind of limit her food intake really mostly just give her hay and uh, what I'll do is I'll milk her out but I won't milk her out fully because it's a supply and demand kind of thing with their bodies. So I'll milk her out just enough to give her some relief and um, her body will produce that little bit just to fill it up and gradually we'll work till we stop, we, we work down to milking her every other day and then just completely stop altogether. So I think she's going to be fine though. She's been doing pretty good. Hi mamas. Hi baby. So, but that is how she is doing. Hey, baby girl. Hey. Hey, Pepper. Whoop, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> hey, Pepper. You're doing good. Hey, this is the slimmest I've seen her in forever. She's been so fat and round being pregnant. So, but she's doing good, huh, Mama? You're doing good. Yes, you're doing good. So we're gonna just kind of keep her home for a little while longer, just so that we can pay attention to her diet. We know she's not getting too much and uh, just it allows us a better opportunity to monitor her. That's such a good girl. Yes, that's such a good mama's good baby. So we'll keep you updated on that process and how that's going and uh, also whenever we bring her back out to the pasture and reunite her back with the herd. I know she'll be happy to be back out there. All right, so last but not least, the last um, update that you guys need to see is, you'll recall a while back, we bought, on a whim, two turkey poults. And how long ago was that, babe? It was like, what? Not even a month ago? What? When we got the turkey poults. That wasn't, that wasn't long ago. Um, I'll kind of do like an overlay here of just how old they are now. But they were like little, little. And look at them now. 
Hi, guys. You guys are so huge. Hi. They're so quiet. So they've been living out in my office, getting big enough. We originally tried to move them out to the chicken tractor to run with Magnolia and the chicken nuggets, but Magnolia, in her defense, we raised her with, uh, um, with chicken nuggets. She had never seen a turkey before, and so she just was not really a fan of them. So, in her defense, she had just never seen a turkey before. And she was just doing her job. This is not part of my flock, so I'm going to chase it off. And uh, she didn't hurt them. She just kind of harassed them. And so we immediately brought them out and brought them back home. So we're going to let them get a little bit bigger. I think that they're about at that size. I think maybe just a touch bigger. And we will move them and integrate them into the pasture flock. I want them to get bigger, not just so that they stay put in the poultry net, but also so that the chickens are a little bit intimidated by their size and are less likely to really harass them. Hi. Hi. They're so quiet, like, what are you doing? So unfortunately, I no longer know who Bert and Ernie is, which one is which. We're just kind of just calling them Bert and Ernie. And then we'll just kind of, once we determine if one's a female and one's a male, then we'll decide, okay, well that's, that's Bert and Ernette. <laughs> so, but I think they are, they're doing excellent. They're doing great.